I have an update to my Divi tutorial that showed you how to toggle sections and rows. And if you want to check out that original video, I will link it here. I had a very kind viewer send me the solution that I was looking for to open and close those sections by clicking the button for a second time. And as I expressed in that video, JavaScript is something I know how to navigate, but I'm not an expert in it. So shout out to Raphael for sending me that solution. I went ahead and I updated the blog so that you can grab the code for yourself. Additionally, if you want a page layout that incorporates everything so that you can see a working example and not have to do the legwork yourself, you can purchase uh, the template in my shop. It will have the updated code in it. It only costs $5 and it's a way to help support my channel. I'll give you an extremely brief look at that update next. If this video is helpful, please give it a like and subscribe if you'd like to see more of my content. So if you're ready, I'm ready. Let's dive in. Now, if you've watched my other video, which again, there will be links to that. If you want to take a deeper dive on how we set this page up, this page should look familiar. Right now I have removed the JavaScript, so it's not functioning. But the idea is that these are buttons. And when we click a button, we want a particular section or row to appear that contains further information that will then open and close and toggle. And so before what was happening is you could click one and it would open and then you would click another one and it open. But if we click the button a second time, it would not close the content. So we have a solution for that. And so I'm just going to show you where to pop that code in. So this code will be available on my blog link that I will leave below in the description as well. And if you want to just buy this template, you can grab that in my shop so that you don't have to do all the legwork. But please do not feel pressured at all to buy it if you want to create something on your own. So I will navigate to the back end of the Divi site. This is just a test site so that we can kind of have a playground to work with. You'll go to the Divi theme options, you'll go to integration, and then this add code to the head of your blog, this is where we're going to paste the code. So I've copied it, I'm pasting it into this box. And to give you kind of a brief overview of what it is, before we didn't have anything in this toggle section, now we do. Now this is meant for five buttons. So if you have six buttons, seven buttons, 12 buttons, you're going to need to adjust this code so that the proper amount is accounted for. So we've got the toggling, we've got what to hide and what to show when you're clicking on it. And if you are very confused by this video, I highly encourage you to just go back to that original one so that you can see how it all functions. But this in a nutshell is just how this new code looks. And so when we go to save this, we will go back to our page. And we can see that when we click on a button, now information, and this is just actually a section that contains a couple rows inside of it. And there's a little jump link. When you click the button for a second time, it will close. When you click the new section, you can go to a different section if you want, you can pull up all the different content or if you click it for a second time, then it will close. So if you've used this code and solution before, you again, you can grab the new stuff from the blog. And if you have any questions, please leave those in the comments below and I am happy to assist if I can. Hopefully this update works for everybody. As always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.